What, what, what would uh, be, uh, what would signal the end of the war? Uh, you've been talk talking about a total victory that you are expecting, but what would be the, the, the factors that would signal this total victory? Would, for example, the elimination of Yaya Sinwa be, be one of them? What, what would you define as the factors who would signal the end of the war? I would define the end of the war in Gaza. In Gaza. When, when Hamas no longer rules Gaza. We throw them out. I would define the end of the war in uh, World War II when the Nazis no longer rule Germany. To do that, you need to have a military victory and you have to have also a political victory to destroy their governance. We're out to destroy the military capabilities of Hamas and the governing capabilities of Hamas, and we're well on our way to achieving both. That is total victory. But since you asked a question, I wish I could answer in French. Mon français n'est pas suffisant, oui? No, no, n'est pas suffisant. But I'll say it in English, since you asked a question in English, I'll answer in English a question that I was asked in Hebrew. I was asked whether Israel is not, I'm not doing enough to the release of hostages. Well, I want to set the record straight. On April 27th, Secretary of State Blinken said that Israel made an extraordinarily generous offer for a hostage deal. On May 31st, Israel agreed to a U.S.-backed proposal. Hamas refused. On August 16th, Israel agreed to what the United States defined as a final bridging proposal. Hamas refused again. On August 19th, Secretary Blinken said, Israel accepted the U.S. proposal Now Hamas must do the same. On uh, August 28th, that's five days ago, five days ago, Deputy CIA Director said that Israel shows seriousness in the negotiations. Now Hamas must show the same seriousness. I want to ask you something. What has changed in the last five days? What has changed? One thing. These murderers executed six of our hostages. They shot them in the back of the head. That's what's changed. And now after this, we're asked to show seriousness? We're asked to make concessions? What message does this send Hamas? It says, kill more hostages, murder more hostages, you'll get more concessions. The pressure internationally must be directed at these killers. At Hamas, not at Israel. We say yes, they say no all the time, but they also murdered these people. And now we need maximum pressure on Hamas. I don't believe that either President Biden or anyone serious about achieving peace and achieving the release would seriously ask Israel, Israel to make these concessions. We've already made them. Hamas has to make the concession. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.